Hi, it's Tyler. Welcome back to After the Run. In this episode, I'm going to tell you what I did to gain 10 pounds in a week in the middle of my weight loss journey uh, and what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> week I gained 10 pounds. Pretty impressive. I, I went from 218 up to 228. I just weighed in about a half hour ago. And uh, I'm not real thrilled about gaining 10 pounds in a week. Um, but I'm also not beating myself up about it um, for a few reasons. First let me tell you what I did. Um, this week was Valentine's Day and I ate chocolate. Um, my, I, my school teacher and my students brought me candy and I ate some of that candy. Um, I took my wife out to dinner, and so we had a bigger dinner than we normally have. Uh, we had sweets at home, and we even made a cake, and I ate a few slices of that. Um, and that was during the week. And then on the weekend, um, we went and spent the weekend at my uh, sister and brother-in-law's cabin. Uh, so we spent four hours driving there. Spent the weekend there, uh, and it was with my extended family, and we ate a lot. And there were sweets; like the whole pantry had like uh, a whole shelf of like candy, and it was open and available all the time, and chips and soda and stuff. And I used some self-control, but um, I definitely had sweets. I had um, quite a few uh, chocolate-covered raisins and cinnamon bears, and they had some almond roca. So I had some of that, and during the meals I ate a lot. I did drink a little bit of soda and some Powerade, and um, so that explains a lot. Now, I also, normally over the weekend, I do a long training run. I have a marathon in three weeks, and this weekend up at the cabin, there was a ton of snow and difficult to run when there's a ton of snow, and so I didn't go on a long training run. Um, I also didn't have access to free weights or anything like that. So I didn't do any weightlifting, and um, yeah, and combine that with just driving a lot and sitting around a lot, uh, staying up late to visit with my family and not getting enough sleep. Um, I probably didn't drink as much as I normally do uh, of water drinking. I, I don't need to be drinking a lot. That's not going to help with weight loss. So those are all the things that I did, and it resulted in me gaining 10 pounds. Now, I think the damage could have been a lot worse. If I totally let myself go, I think we could easily have tacked on five to that. And that's why I'm even making this video, is um, just to show you the dangers of just letting yourself go. Uh, when you change your health and your diet, um, it needs to be a lifestyle change. Uh, the reason people yo-yo like I just did this week is because they're dieting, they're doing something temporary and not making a permanent change. Um, if I'm going to just eat chocolate whenever I want to, or if I'm going to let myself go and go crazy, I have to know that I'm going to have these huge weight swings, and that's obviously not something I want. Uh, now the good news is, some of that swing for me will be tempered, because I can get right back into a routine this week. I'm confident that at least half that weight that I gained I'll be able to take off within a few days, just getting back into my normal schedule. Uh, as I get back into my normal eating pattern, that's going to help. Um, I might even do some fasting this week um, for the health benefits there of just getting things out of my system. So here's my plan. And so I told you um, I went from 218 a week ago Saturday. Now it's Monday. Uh, so a little more than a week I gained 10 pounds. Uh, basically I gained a pound a day. Um, what I'm going to do to by this Saturday, so in five days, my goal is to lose five pounds. So if I can gain a pound a day, I can probably also lose a pound a day. It's harder to lose weight than it is to gain weight, so you have to have a plan. Here's my plan. Number one, sugar's done. <laughs> no added sugar to anything um, for at least this week, but I think I'm going to be done for a while. Um, as I mentioned, I have a marathon coming up in three weeks. Uh, and I want to be in good shape. I want to be down to 215 for that. So I've got about 15 pounds to go. Um, so if I lose five pounds this week, five pounds next week, five pounds the week after that, that's a lot of weight loss. So obviously I'd like to do more of that on the front end. Um, five pound minimum gain, uh, weight loss this week, but I'd love to lose like the whole 10 that I gained. We'll see. Um, but to do that, I have to make some sacrifices. Sugar's the first thing to go. Um, I also know that um, I have certain trigger foods that make me hungry for more food. So for at least for the next five days, no bread, no pasta, 
no fruit with the exception of berries. I can have berries. Uh, no dairy, um, except for maybe a little bit of cheese and butter. Uh, grass fed butter, I think that's what I'm doing. So I'll have a little bit of butter, a little bit of cheese, but no other dairy, no cottage cheese or anything like that. And uh, stay away from most processed foods. Now, some processed foods for me is inevitable because I don't have full control over um, what I eat. I eat at my cafeteria at school during lunch, uh, and my wife cooks most of my evening meals. I can choose to not eat certain foods, and so that's for the next five days, I'm going to stay away from as much processed foods as possible. So that's what I'm going to do on the diet side of things. On the um, exercise th side of things, this is where um, I'm going to have to really crank things up this week. So starting tonight, in fact, um, I'm in my uh, running clothes right now. Uh, we have a ton of snow outside right now, and I actually did some damage. Uh, one thing, I'll show you a still about this um, so you can see a photo. I did go running over the weekend. I did a three mile um, snowshoe run, and it totally did some damage to my ankles. I cut them both open. Um, just as snow got into my boots and stuff like that and so I have to be careful with my feet this week um, but and it's also like zero degrees outside right now so it's not really enticing to go on a lot of long runs um, at least not during the week so my goal is to spend most of my exercise time indoors uh, I'm gonna be on my exercise bike every night uh, for at least a half hour but I'm gonna shoot for an hour or more every night um, so that's the minimum for cardio um, I'm going to work with free weights and do at least during the week two weight lifting sessions and then another one on Saturday so I'll have three weight lifting sessions this week and um, and then just trying to eat as healthy as possible drinking a lot of water and that's what I'm going to do this week so um, I'm, I'm right around I think I got to 232 um, 232.8 so I guess my goal is to get down to 227.8, uh, that's the 5 pounds, but honestly I want to get under 225, so that's what we're shooting for. I'll record another video on Saturday uh, and follow up, so it'll be on the next episode, uh, but I'll report on that first and then I'll get into whatever I'm going to teach you next week. So not teaching you a lot this week, I just wanted to come clean and let you know that um, I screwed up and I had a hard week, and I'm, but I'm going to do something about it. So um, <laughs> it's probably not very inspiring for you, but... Uh, at least you know that I'm keeping it real. Alright, so hope you're having a great week and that you're doing better than me. Alright, see ya.